this is him when we went on vacation in Hawaii and we got to really spend a lot of good times together, him and I. And this is a picture of him and his girlfriend the day that he died. Merlinda Sane remembers the last message she got from her 25-year-old son, Bryce Sane, that day in December. He had sent me a text when he was, um, when he landed in Las Vegas and he said, uh, landed in Vegas, I love you, mom. Sane wanted to continue to feel connected to Bryce, so she harnessed her grief to build a wind phone booth, a place to remember her son and a resource for her battleground community. I just. I just want that place where people can start the healing process and connect with their loved ones in a meaningful way. The wind phone is a disconnected phone line used to communicate with deceased loved ones. It's inspired by the original wind phone in Japan, which grew in popularity after the 2011 earthquake and tsunami, serving as a source of comfort to deal with grief. Grieving is really hard and and I want to provide a space where people can find a little bit of comfort. The wind phone booth provides a private place where people can confine their thoughts and let the wind carry their words to loved ones they've lost. And I think there's something ritualistic about going into the phone booth, dialing the phone number, and having the receiver and being able to say the things that you want to say that you're no longer able to say in person. She says it's a tangible connection that creates space for people to process grief. The booth also has a notebook for visitors to jot down their thoughts and messages. I think it's a really lovely way that um, a person can take time to kind of connect with those that they've lost and have loved. And um, so I'm, I'm grateful for it. I think it'll be really nice. She got an outpour of support Sunday from neighbors as the wind booth officially opened to all. We all have loss in common, so there hasn't been anybody who's come by who hasn't experienced some sort of loss. And I think as we relate is where some of the healing happens because we find that there's real love out there. While loss is a common thread, it's the memories that live on. This is him, um, and I just, when he was young, and I love his eyes. Chris Dalkinway, KGW News.